Hi guys, we are making school buses today. Seen this on my Pinterest and decided I had to make it. We are a big fan of all things vehicle in this house. I will link the original Pinterest down below if you're interested in that. The first thing I did was save an old carton. This one was coconut milk. And then I let little man go to town. You can see how well our first attempt worked out, painting the table instead of the carton, but that's okay. This is about learning. So I just kind of showed him that the goal here was to coat the carton in a bunch of yellow paint for our first coat of paint so that we could come back with the second one and hopefully make it not so see-through so that we didn't have the logo peeping through. And this worked for a while. He painted this for just a few minutes and then decided he was uh, done with that. So I came back and decided that I would paint it. I also tried this school bus idea just cutting out yellow construction paper into rectangles and gluing it to the sides and it also works well but the whole point here was for him to paint it and have fun while he was painting. He just didn't like it as much as I thought he was going to. Maybe he's too little. So this is the next day I came back and decided we were going to try the second coat thing and if it was still too coconut milky you know the logo sticking through then i would just roll with the yellow construction paper glued to the sides instead because i ain't got time to come back for four days and paint it again and again and again but that's all right two coats did the trick anyways moving on there go. There go. Woo! So next up was the windows for the bus. We just got some black construction paper out and I kind of eyeballed the window sizes for the school bus. And I told him he was in charge of gluing things. Kind of a risky proposition for a two year old. So somewhere between the baby trying to pull my pants down while I'm working with scissors and my son talking about gluing everything, I missized my windows. So I came back and snipped off a little bit of the original rectangles so that we could have three windows because the other, you know, the front window just wasn't working. So we had to make it fit. And now we needed a little label because he wanted it to say school bus because obviously that's what it's called is a school bus. And I happen to have this white Sharpie and uh, yeah, it worked out really good for the white against the black. Can't have a bus without a label. Next up was the wheels. I had no idea how big to make them. So I just cut out a little test circle and kind of eyeballed it from there. He wanted giant wheels, but I told him, you know, all right, they've got to fit on the bus because if they stick out past the carton, it's not going to work. So I just scooted up the windows since the glue was still wet, and this is the size wheel that we went through. And to give him a little bit of detail, we drew a little, you know, inside part of the wheel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is what we did for side one of the school bus, and I thought it turned out super cute, and it didn't take too long at all. Uh, this part anyways the painting and drying is kind of redundant but I think it's worth it he really liked this school bus whenever we were finished with it the school bus I'm doing our school bus we gotta do the other side okay yeah
The last thing I did was attach a front and rear window, which was just another rectangle, cut and glued to the front and back. Presto! Wow, what's this? Psycho! What is this? School bus! It's a school bus? Yeah. Wow, how do you drive a school bus? Um, Can you show Tata? Can you show Tata how you drive a school bus? School and that's it. Have fun making your school buses. Check out my other videos for more ideas. Bye!